Greetings folks, it's maiden time for the simplified INAV setup. In this setup I only have acro, angle, manual and return to home modes. No auto launch, no auto tune, no missions. Just the most basic and simple setup of INAV uh, to make sure that you get out flying quicker and easier with no mistakes and your plane is going to be perfectly set up if you want to add those automatic features later on. So what I'm going to do first is just do a line of sight flight, just to check out the plane, make sure I haven't made any mistakes, make sure the plane's going to fly reasonably, uh, and then we can pop the goggles on and do a bit of FPV flying. What I'm looking for is, uh, do I have enough throws? Uh, is the plane trimmed well enough? We should have trimmed all, it all out beforehand, uh, so it should be okay. In fact, it should fly just like the line of sight model did before you put the flight control board on, if you've done everything uh, as I've advised you to. So we have reduced throws because we've adjusted the holes that the push rods are connected to. We have no trims in the radio uh, and it will fly nicely with 100% weight and 30% expo, which is kind of what INAV does to start off with in manual mode uh, and should be a little bit more stabilised in acro mode and uh, self-leveling in angle mode and we can check whether it's gaining height or losing height in angle mode uh, to determine whether we've got the right uh, board pitch trim. All right so let's go for a fly so nice reasonably level uh, hefty throw and we should be up and away. Okay I have enough satellites let's just check if I can arm it and get the motor going so we are ready to go. Here we go simple line of sight flight first launching in acro mode. That's flying beautifully into the wind. I've got the advantage of having lift out there, so turning around. Turning nicely and stably. I have plenty of elevator throw, so I'm not going to hit any trees or anything. That's hands off and it's just maintaining its attitude nicely. All right, I'll bring it back. And I'll try flying in angle mode. That is angle mode. That seems to be holding altitude. We'll get a better idea when we're in um, yeah, FPV. Maybe raising, maybe gaining altitude a bit, so, uh, but we'll see when we're actually flying. So that's flying angle mo mode beautifully. This is manual mode. Hardly made any difference. But we should have the most amount of throws here. But that is flying nicely, not needing any trim anyway. Alright, so we'll fly it out a little bit more. I'll put it into, say, angle mode. Let it, let it just fly out and we'll do a return to home test. And uh, if it's going to be flying okay and return to home, then I'll pop the goggles on and um, do a bit of FPV flying. So, hitting return to home now, it's turning straight away, should go to 50 metres and fly around uh, where I am here. And that seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. So there you go. No adjustments needed at this stage. It's just flying as it should. All right, let's... Uh, Pop the goggles on and have a look. Loading around home nicely. Forty nine meters. And back to angle mode and we'll fly around a little bit. That's cool. That's nice and stable in angle mode. It is Gaining altitude a little bit, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. I could reduce the uh, fixed wing. Oh no, that's sort of maintaining 60 metres now. That's that's pretty good. Okay, back to acro, and we'll fly around nicely. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, behaving perfectly. So there we go, that is the simplest setup of INAV 
just works straight out of the box if you do all the plane preparation properly. Don't complicate things with auto launch and uh, auto tune and all that sort of stuff. Now I know the plane's flying properly, I can add auto launch if I want to. I never use auto launch, I just don't need it. Uh, I prefer to be in control. If I want to stop and put my goggles on, I can put it into return to home or loiter or something like that. Uh, I would add uh, cruise mode and uh, loiter mode. They're great for FPV and waypoint missions if you want to. But uh, the plane is basically ready now for all of that stuff to be added and you know it's going to work. If you've come to this video and you're not sure what's going on, watch the previous video where I, uh, it's called Simplified iNav, where I show you how to set up the plane, how to set up the basic modes, how to make sure everything is connected properly for a simple and bulletproof setup of INAV. I'm gaining altitude so I think I do need to drop my uh, board pitch trim from four down to three maybe. This is the fin wing X-Bird with extend, it's extended wings out to 1.1 meters and it is all behaving delightfully. So that all went perfectly as I expected it to because we'd set the plane up properly to start off with. Things you would pay attention to are uh, if you need any more trim, in that case you would adjust the push rods uh, me mechanically by uh, bringing out a, uh, an allen key or something like that just to adjust the ailerons, uh, possibly a, a play with the centre of gravity, uh, although any sort of minor centre of gravity problems will be pretty much hidden by the setup, the INAV setup I guess, uh, unless you're flying in manual mode and then, then you might pick them up. Uh, adjust the elevator trim if you need to. Pay attention to whether it's gaining height or losing height in angle mode and make adjustments when you get back home to the board pitch trim. Uh, but otherwise that's about all there is to it. I'm just making sure before you start that your control surfaces are going in the correct direction. Do the normal high five test that you would do with any plane and then check the stabilization direction by putting it in man manual, uh, by putting it in angle mode and holding it at an angle and seeing what the control surfaces do to uh, counteract that. Uh, and if you get all of those things correct then you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.